SkyTrack 1.6.8 was released today, and I quickly want to review with you a couple of the new features it has. The most significant new feature is now we can pop out the sky map by clicking here, and that pops out into a new window, which is uh, completely resizable. And it's going to be identical to a map that's on the uh, main dialog. Another new feature, and it's with the sky map, is under setup here. Instead of RE deck lines, we can now choose uh, alt as lines if we wish. And so we see that drawn here. And I actually prefer this, even though I have a German equatorial mount. Um, I prefer this because it's it's easier to see how things how high things are off the horizon and whether I'm going to be able to see them yet or not. Uh, in addition, if I choose an astronomical object, we can see now it actually displays on this sky map in uh, as a little green dot there. And even though we know the cardinal direction and elevation, it might be useful just to have a visual. And so you can scroll down the, the different objects here and see where they're, they're located. Or if you're looking for a nice um, star to, to focus on or, or to align and do a sync, it's just a le little easier now to see a visual of where that star is. And of course, if we have our mount connected, we can see how close it is. Um, another new feature is actually a, a check for any errors in the setup. And I've set up the ASCOM simulator and I purposely entered in an incorrect longitude. And so we connect and I get an error. And so what it's gonna do, it's gonna, the, it's going to compare the um, uh, cider real times and you can see here we're, we're varying by four minutes so that, that could mean several things either my longitude on the mount and what i have set up in skytrack doesn't agree or a bigger error i have a wrong time zone or my time and date both on my computer and the mount don't agree. This could also happen if your mount has a GPS and the GPS didn't get a fix yet. Um, so this will, error will come up if you vary more than two minutes in your, uh, in your LST. And um, so two minutes is fairly easy to sync in, in terms of time. The other thing you have to be aware of is longitude. So two minutes, um, in that time in terms of longitude is probably about a quarter degree. So now you have to be, a, uh, if, if you haven't been, you have to be a little more accurate on your longitude entries on both the mount and um, set up in SkyTrack. This is important uh, for SkyTrack anywhere where, where it uses alt as coordinates. So like if I, if I didn't have that set up correctly, these elevations might not be correct. And so I might um, try to slew, slew to that. And in fact, it might not even be 70, 17 degrees high yet. And so I'll get an error message when I try to slew to that. The other area that's important is, is all this, the satellite information. So your current elevation and even your ALS and LOS times aren't going to be correct if that information wasn't entered incorrectly. Even more important uh, than that is if you're using a, a German equatorial mount, um, that information is used to calculate the hour angle and where the meridian is. And so if that's not correct, you might be doing a meridian flip early or um, even a worse situation, doing a meridian flip late. So it's important um, that's uh, accurate. It's also important during the calibration phase for continuous tracking. And so I put that little air check in there and um, it is a little bit tight. So hopefully it's not a nuisance, but um, it's important that information is accurate. Um, in terms of other updates, uh, I did a little bit of rework on these manual slew keys and hopefully you find them a little more responsive now. Um, some changes to the 
to the pop-out maps before we had some issues sometimes with some flicker um, that flickering should be gone the other thing too which is new is it will remember the location and the size of your map so when I pop it out again it should come back to the same place and same size um, that's probably it for new features I just want to show a couple other things that uh, <clears throat> you may not have been aware of and that is under the TLE tab we have a ability to auto select a uh, satellite on startup and you put in the NORAD number so this this here is for the space station so when I start the program up it'll automatically display ISS and then the other thing we can do there too is we can automatically pop out the world map so I'll just show that quickly There we see it automatically pop up. So that's handy if uh, if you know it's coming um, coming up and you don't want to miss it if you're busy doing other things. Uh, you'll notice this alert is automatically checked and that is set up over here by default. Um, check alert and pop up world maps. And that is handy to again alert you when you're waiting for a certain object and so we'll just uh, find something here that's about to come up so we'll take this guy's coming up in 10 seconds so that's that's checked and so I might be busy working away with something else and then when that happens hopefully you can hear that beep on the video but it was a little soft beep and you'll also notice the window um, shimmers and that'll continue to beep and shimmer until uh, loss of signal or you uncheck that um, so again that's useful if, if you're waiting for something and you get distracted and you don't want to miss it uh, so that's all I have to show today um, hopefully you find the the new update useful and um, especially this, this pop-up world or sky map thanks for now